My phone is constantly ringing or vibrating with questions such as which college to join, which college is the best and uh, which college will give me placements. So I thought of making this whiteboard video to show you what exactly are the criteria you should be choosing. Since this video is not just for the students, it is for their parents also. So today we are going to unlock or um, find out the mystery behind the best college. Which college exactly is the best biotech college? The moment I say a college or a university, there are so many. Probably there are more than 300 plus biotech colleges. Okay, more than 300. In fact, every nook, corner, every street, you will find one biotech college. But why we don't find so many biotech companies? Now, that is the question you have to ask. Why there are 300 biotech colleges or universities in India, more than that, but why we don't have so many companies at every corner? The truth is or the devil is in the details, okay? So first we'll try to understand the biotech companies, then we'll come to the biotech colleges. Now, why, why do I do that? Because this is the demand, this is the supply, okay? If the demand is not adequate, supply is of no use, right? So even if you do the biotech degree, it will be of no use if you don't have a good understanding or your parents don't have a good understanding of the biotech companies, right? Now, let's bring this in the center. Now, biotech companies, what do they need? Okay, so let us start with the basic. You must have seen sugarcane factories. Very basic uh, biotech company. So basically what it is, it's a factory, right? So most of the biotech companies are a factory or a plant or a lab. Okay, more or less, this is what you can call it. Okay, so... For example, Biocon or Sinjin, they have factories, they have plants, right? And the smaller startups, they have labs, okay? So lab is like a smaller room or a smaller building, while a factory or a plant is on a larger scale, okay? So that's what biotech company is. So of course, if you want to build a factory or a plant, right? You need a big land, right? A lot of investment. So any biotech company you want to start, you need a lot of investment. And how many crores, it will go to hundreds of crores, right? That is why there are not so many biotech companies, but there are many biotech startups for sure. But if I calculate biotech companies plus startups plus pharma companies, more than 18,000 biotech companies are there in India. So that means the supply side, sorry, the demand side is well met, it is there. But there is a problem. See, in these 18,000 companies, already people who entered, say, in 1990 in this company are still working, right? So they may not retire in 2025, they may retire later, right? So basically, if no new biotech company is coming and the old ones already have the existing employees and if they are not growing, then there is no need of no demand. So then these colleges will die, right? You don't need to take this course. So what is happening? Is the biotech industry growing? The answer is yes, it is going up, right? So let's say 10 years ago, it was a $30 billion industry. As of today, it is $160 billion. So it has jumped. Yes, the last 10, 15 years, it has jumped. But now the question is, how do you crack the biotech industry so of course the first thing will be the supply side which is biotech college now let me raise this now we will come to the system where how these biotech colleges are operating and how they are fulfilling the gap in between the industry and the academia we'll find out so the biotech colleges need to have certain things which they don't talk about and they don't uh, tell you okay they will just confuse you with what curriculum right so please don't get confused with curriculum. But yes, one of the parameter is curriculum, but they will confuse you with curriculum, right? But curriculum is the beginning, not the end, right? Because you, you or your parents are not from the biotech industry. If they start talking all those advanced things, you will get mesmerized. But please don't get mesmerized. The most important thing is the lab. Like I said, see, if you want to work in a biotech company, then you're going to work in a lab or you're going to work in a factory. So the same way is the smaller version of that factory. It's a lab, right? 
do they have it now it's not your regular you know plus 2 physics chemistry biology lab these are advanced labs so the college or the university should have you know some good instruments so what you can do is whenever you're going for admission don't just look at the curriculum go to the lab take pictures right now once you've taken the picture this curriculum and this lab photo photos upload to chat gpt now why i'm saying that because i cannot be there everywhere so i'm just giving you the example of how you should be doing take the picture of the lab and the curriculum and ask chat gpt using these instruments can the these experiments be performed in the lab or not if it says a yes or a no you get your answer so i they are just trying to confuse you but they don't have the facility so what will happen when the lab is not properly equipped you will go outside for a job later on into the biotech company remember i wrote here biotech company so you will not get a job right this won't happen right so that is why see the lab must be there now what is the next aspect even if lab is there the professor he should have the right exposure right now why why this is important is like see i have a racing car i don't know how to drive what is the use so i have a lab i have the curriculum the professor is not qualified so how the university or the college cut corners is they will try to save money here or they'll try to save money here by hiring some you know cheap people as professors right even though this is coming from the university obviously they cannot change but if the professor is bad or the lab is bad you will suffer i will suffer because you will suffer because you will not get a job i will suffer because i will not get manpower to place in the biotech company right i will only make money when you get placed in the biotech company right so my job is to make sure that you are getting placed now coming to the next part okay professor what should you look in the professor first thing go to their linkedin profile look at it very carefully are, are they uh, having some kind of exposure to the industry or they just have like okay throughout their life they worked in a you know university or a college it's of no use see after your degree they should have worked after this degree of a phd or whatever msc they have they should have worked in the industry okay and they should have some experience then only they can guide you otherwise they are just telling you the bookish knowledge in a practical format the second thing you should uh, look for is how many research papers they have published right if they ha don't have research papers published so how do you find that you have google scholar okay of course on their linkedin profile also you can find otherwise google scholar you can go to google scholar scholars.google.com and type that person's name you'll know how many papers he's published right and the most of the time the he, the professor's email id also will be there so you'll get the email id of the professor okay and you can email them if you have any questions professors also you should look at what kind of things they are posting on linkedin because many professors are egoistic okay so even though they have lot of credentials they're not child friendly or student friendly they are just there to show off so what kind of things they are posting on linkedin will show you whether they have they are egoistic or they are very down to earth so you know you should look at that social media is really a boon so yeah professor is the next thing now moving forward alumni okay now why i am see you are going to be talking probably to the admission officer they will never tell you who got placed where you go to linkedin check who all have done the degree from this college okay and contact this person on linkedin ask how it is right this person would have already passed and he would he will tell you the truth okay you don't even to have to watch my video they will tell you the truth but yes don't buy um, whatever they say because sometimes it can be fake profiles also by the admission officer so be careful right okay so alumni the next thing you you should be doing is see where, which company they are working for right and then don't don't just look at one or two previous students you have to look at at least 10 20 50 students because what smartness they do is they'll confuse you with the curric curriculum they'll show you a different lab but the practical will happen in some other lab professor will not be good quality and the alumni may be fake profiles are there so you have to be mindful chat with them and you will know whether this college has placement or not okay if the placement is not there or the admission officer says that my students went for a higher education see they are actually lying probably so you should always negotiate on the next part which is fees okay now please don't feel bad negotiating on the fees because they will throw and tantrums they will you know say all those sales trick that see last city is there we are closing admissions all that please don't buy that instead say that i'm ready to take admission but i've already got a offer a better college say the name even if you have don't have say that and say that i have but they're charging me only this much so give me a better price i'm coming to you right if they are negotiating with you you should also negotiate do not break your bank okay 
if you end up taking a biotech degree with a bank loan you you can be in trouble because Im- immediately you may, this college may not be able to get you the job okay of course you will come to me i'll help you but that is where it goes another very important aspect as a child or as a student or as parent you should know once you are in the college this is a professional degree you have to really study don't get distracted with all those uh, mad people who come and say there's no scope no uh, job there is job there is scope and if you're not getting come to me i'll help you it's my job to get you a placement but if you do not do not study i cannot do that part on you your you know on behalf you have to study you have to be knowing the concept you have you should have the hands on whatever training companies are there and they will hire you okay so that's all from my side heart to heart conversation if you have any questions put that down in the comment section if your parents want me to shoot the same video in hindi let me know i'll shoot it again in hindi maybe it's because some parents they are not so uh, good in english so we can do that but my bottom line is don't get trapped in bad college enter a good college there are good college i'll be making more videos on that so there are good colleges enroll there and shine all the best